Jake. And I'm AJ. We are the Night at Four Boys. So today we have a very special bottle. We wanted to wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day. And we have, in fact, the Four Roses Father's Day bottle. It's a it's a 16 year bottle. There's many different years used for this bottle. There was 19 barrels made. That was 15. 15, sorry. I'm getting confused for Jimmy's <laughs> 15 barrels made. And I'm going to turn it over to Jake to talk a little more about it. But. Yeah, so 15 barrels is a bunch of different letters. I don't think any of the letters overlap. Uh, all of the runs, I think, are RN, but this one is the RN 63 6L. So it's a tier 6. Uh, we actually heard some hubbub that the tier 3s were also tier 6s. Uh, Four Roses wasn't open. We should have called today, honestly, but um, we're not sure if that's true or not. I think the main thought is they're all extremely high proof. They're actually the highest proof releases for all of the like private selection single barrels that they've done. Uh, so super excited to try that just from that like knowledge alone. But um, the tier threes like did compete in proof uh, to the tier sixes for this release. So it's really interesting. Extremely high age. Normally the private selections are like eight to eleven years yeah. usually, uh, but this is sixteen. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're super excited. Secondary was about, uh, at this point, it, it was a frenzy on all the groups and yeah. stuff like that in the beginning. Like everyone's trying to undercut each other or whatever, but, uh, I think it evened out around 800 or so. And then SRP was 200 out yeah. of four roses. So like, some wrong. people They're got wrong. a crazy pain. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, we're just over here. We're just happy to have it. Uh, they also came with these glasses, uh, four roses bourbon. Awesome ones. Yes. Yeah, Father's Day branded, raise a glass to the man who raised you well, 2024. Uh, feels awesome. The top is pretty seemingly fragile, but it's, a, it's an awesome glass, honestly. Uh, do you want to crack this bad boy open? You, you go for it, man. I'll let you pour it. <laughs> let me pour it. Let the heavy hand pour it. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so uh, there's not much information about these online whatsoever. Uh, the reviews that we saw was only two. One of them was this, the L barrel, uh, and it was talking about more of like a rich fruity note as opposed to like a more astringent drying oak note, which they also did enjoy. I forgot which letter that was, but uh, there's barely any info on these online yet. Uh, we're happy to be one of the first to do a video review, um, but yeah, hopefully it's going to live up to the hype and be worth how much we paid for it. Sweet, sweet. I'm just gonna go in for the nose instantly. I feel like no matter what the recipe, I think I've had like four recipes now. The uh, the instant like vibe I get from the nose is just like floral, four roses, haha. -ha. I think that's the entire reason that's why they're called that, but that's the main like things I get, especially from the OESO. I feel like we've like, had this before, right? OESV. No. I think I've had OBSV. I think I actually have one on the bar, but uh, I'm not certain if I've had OESV. Maybe we have James's OESV, though. That's what I think. I'm, I think, think that's it. it. But, and also the tasting kits are really cool. They have every single oh, yeah. blender, mash, and, and a little two ounce, two and a half ounce. Yeah, so they have all 10 of them, so it's 20 ounces total. I think it was like 150 or 200. Tops had them recently, too. Yeah, but... Yeah, if you can get your hands on one of those, definitely like a fun experience. You're probably not going to try all, I mean, maybe you can try like a quarter ounce of all of them, but um, it's, it's definitely a beast. They have so many recipes. I hear they're coming out with a new recipe too, actually. I don't know how true that is, but I'm getting, I'm mainly getting, I get some oak definitely, like some sweet oak. It's very sweet smelling, which I'm all about. Cherry cola. Just this like flower floral note is like what's taken over for me. But this one's, uh, I don't think we said, it's 67.9%, so it's 135.8, uh, which is about the middle tier of what all the releases for the Father's Day one was. But if it's not going to punch us in the face hot as hell, I think it's going to be really good. <laughs> I'm going for a sip. I definitely get oak in the beginning, like instantly. It is really old. I didn't get too much heat coming up, but like at the end, it was, it was hot going down. Yeah, it was hot going down. 
but like, I feel like it dissipated pretty well so far. But Super I think the right. second sip will be better. Super. The second sip, I don't even know what that is. It's like a, a tangy, tangy, oaky Candy strawberry toffee. or something. Yeah, I get some caramel just drizzled in there too. I maybe this needs to open up, but I, I heard just so much like fruit only like on the palate. I'm starting to get an apricot in it. It took me a second yeah. to get used to the fruit. I'm um, getting like a like a strawberry jammy kind of dried fruit. There is zero baking spice to this, I would say. I get a tiny spice kick at the end, but not like a like this is what, what the whole vanilla, cherry, apricot forward. This is nothing like I mean it's not a rye, obviously. But yeah, I'm wondering, uh, I don't know what the mash bill is on this. I don't think it says, you can look it up. It's always OESB. But coming back, like, from the smells, I get more of that, like, kind of dried, not citrusy, but, like, more of an apricot smell as well. And for this being 16 years, I thought you were really going to get punched in the face with a ton of oak. I heard some of the barrels are more, like, oaky, like, like a GTS kind of oak. Like that, like oh. drying. This is oak note, but I don't get any drying at all. Yeah, this is. I do think it's oak heavy. The more sips that I come back to, which isn't normally for me, but I honestly think it's it kind of balances everything out. I think it's honestly pretty great. Uh, is it eight hundred dollars good, AJ? Um, I don't know if I can say that, but. I think I think it's phenomenal. I think it's, it is the best uh, Four Roses bottle that for I've sure. Had, not even, yeah. But I, it's not really competing in the same kind of uh, like contest, I guess, because I've I mean, only had up to like 11, 12 years, I think. And you've had the anniversary too. Uh, the one thirty fifth. Yeah, one thirty fifth. Yeah, yeah. That, that was very good, but I, I think this definitely takes the cake. Also, the higher proof point is. This is definitely more complex than the uh, the anniversary. The anniversary the had a very big cherry now and just like kind of hit the palate. I'm not getting too much vanilla, which I thought I would from at the all, smell. At all. I don't taste. Weird. It's it's funny how this rose almost gives off like raspberry to it, and then I just don't not taste it. I, don't know, I, I definitely it's I think it's pretty sweet, but not like oh this is like just added sugar kind of thing. Like I think it's like a nice sweetness that I like to it. Now that you said it. No longer I've let the oak kind of sit on my palate and go down. I, I am getting a little bit of foot up front. I maybe it just needs to air out a little bit. Oh yeah, we probably should have just let this sit for 15 minutes. <laughs> well, you wanted to open it well, and then Yeah, we'll, we'll do it at the end and then uh, and then go from there. But overall, thoughts are pretty great. Um, obviously it's already been sold out. They I think they were selling for just a couple days or maybe even at just a day. Uh, the last week before week. Father's yeah, Day. Yeah, the week coming up to Father's Day. Um, but, I mean, if you can find it on secondary, uh, I would honestly just get a sample, see if you like it, and then if it's as amazing as you think, just search out for a bottle. And I totally agree. Definitely try to sample something first before you shell it that kind of cash. That's <laughs> you know how the secondary market goes. Oh, yeah. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah, we, we get a lot of samples. Uh, obviously, we have a good network over here of like friends and stuff that have other bottles too, but it's always nice to be able to try something before spending this <laughs> kind of amount of money on it. Yeah. But well, what do you think out of 10? How, how many slaps? How, how, many, how many, many slaps out of 10 we get? I would say this is... From tasting things on the channel, this is definitely top three. I don't know if it's better than the Willet, but I'm gonna go eight and a half. I'm gonna say definitely top five, depending on my mood for the day. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm very curious to come back to this in a couple days, a week, or whatever, uh, and see how or things might tonight. develop. Or later tonight. It probably will be later tonight, but we'll leave it in the glass for a little longer. Um, but yeah, no, I think I'm gonna give it an eight. Um, I think for my value, I think I would spend up to 
four or so. Yeah. I think that'd be fair enough. MSRP is closer 200. to four or five. I yeah, think. but yeah, no, uh, it's definitely a great one. But I'm Jake. And I'm AJ. We are the Neck Four Boys. I'm we so, didn't use our microphones. I know. I, <laughs> we were a minute into it, and I was like, "It's not worth it." 